Welcome everyone to the 2022-2023 Summer Pirate Navy Garrett Annual Inspection and Pass on Review. We are honored by your presence today. I am Cadet Caitlin Geiger, your mistress of ceremony. Both signs for today's ceremony is both signs of Mike Chief Petty Officer and Mr. Martin and United States Navy. Our proud principal is Mr. Michael Costa, and he warmly welcomes you to the lawn. In time out of naval tradition, we will now ceremoniously bring you aboard our distinguished ship. Please direct your attention to the quarter deck area to the right. Both sides will strike the bell. Bell Mountain Navy, JROTC, arriving. Both sides will strike four bells. Decaf County School District, Career Technical Agricultural Education, arriving. Both of them strike four bells. Belmont High School, arriving. Saying will strike four bells. City of Stone Mountain Police arriving. Both swing will strike four bells. Executive staff arriving. Four 
Sierra 12, Navy, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, arriving. Our distinguished guests today are Dr. Dorian Gunter, DeKalb County School District Director of Career Technical Agricultural Education. Mr. Amishaw Costa, proud principal of Stone Mountain High School. Chief Westerfield, Chief of Police, City of Stone Mountain. Dr. Fasani, Fasani Kinsley, Intern Superintendent, DeKalb County Schools. Mr. Clint Monroe, Councilman, City of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Dr. Beverly Jones, Mayor of City of Stone Mountain. Mr. Dijon DaCosta, District 6, DeKalb County School Board of Education. Mr. Neil Van Marker, representing United States Senator John Ossoff, United States Senator Raphael Warnock, for our Just Pirate Battalion, Stormont High School, via recorded video. Congressman Amy Johnson, United States House of Representatives, Georgia 4th District. Our reviewing officer is Commander Jonathan Shaw, United States Navy, retired, Navy Chair RTC, Area 12 Manager. Welcome to the Stone Mountain High School NJRTC Area Manager's Inspection. Our motto is Pirate NJRTC. Excellence is our standard, and our unit guiding principles are ownership, discipline, and drill. Please stand for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the national anthem performed by Ms. Egypt Hearn of the Talents of Stone Mountain High School Chorus. Our program is led by our amazing director of chorus, Ms. Katrina Durell, who, by the way, is a proud Stone Mountain alumni. Our awesome band will also play a selection of patriotic music for your listening pleasure. The Passover Review Marching Cadence will be performed by drummer, drummer one and drummer two. Our talented and dedicated director of bands is Mr. Clifford Southern.
Ladies and gentlemen, you may now be seated. The battalion commander, Cadet Commander Emilia Adams Ayala, will now present the leadership and class. Our band, led by Mr. Southern, will enhance with the medley of patriotic music.
to the Stones on the high school Navy Junior ROTC cadets. I'm Raphael Warnock. I'm a former
Davis. Could I Jenkins? Let's say. Gil Christ, could I have John? Could I have Pasquale? Staff, Murray, Rescue. Could I have Ash?
Alright, just so everybody knows, uh, Cadet Brooks got advanced to Cadet Senior Apprentice. Cadet Davis got advanced to Cadet Senior Apprentice. Cadet Jenkins, Cadet Stay, both got advanced to Cadet Senior Apprentice. Cadet Donaldson, advanced to E3. Cadet Gilchrist, advanced to E3. Cadet John, both got the Bravo Zulu Medal for Exceptional Personal Appearance and advanced to E3. Cadet Pasquale, advanced to E4. Cadet Ash advanced to E6, and he earned the top shooter for the uh, marksmanship team in the Area 12 uh, marksmanship postal. Cadet Yusuf advanced to E6. I'm sorry, this is why I don't find him. I can't see. Um, uh, E5. I'm sorry, Ash is E5 as well. Um, Cadet Yusuf advanced to E5. She also earned the Bravo Zulu medal. Cadet Florval advanced to E6 and earned a staff cord. Cadet Ravenel, our Bible Company Commander, advanced to E6. Cadet Fofana advanced to E7. And Fofana, where you at? Right. Cadet Fofana also got a special award and is it my order? Um, this is the Congressional Recognition Award presented by Senator John Ossoff's office. <laughs> and, today, um, and if I didn't say so, um, Cadet Floribal is the operations officer, Cadet Ravenel is the Bible Company commander, Cadet Fofana is the supply officer. Cadet Hughes, not to be outdone, is our Alpha Company commander, and she got advanced to Chief Petty Officer. Cadet Walton, our Battalion Master Chief, got advanced to E7, but for the uh, amazing job that he's doing, did we put, did we put the Master Chief on? Okay. Um, that big old grin that he's trying to hide there. Um, he has earned the right to have both the rank and the position of battalion master chief. So let's give him a round of applause. Cadet <laughs> um, Martinez, our uh, just just get up front. She was reading stuff. So. Cadet Martinez, our drill team, one of our drill team commanders, along with Cadet um, Walton, is also our adjutant officer. Again, another cadet doing an amazing job, and she's getting advanced to Cadet Senior Chief Petty Officer. Uh, cadet Hong Yi is our Cadet of the Month. Junior Cadet of the Month for the month of March. 
Cadet Brooks is the Cadet of the Month, Senior Cadet of the Month for the month of March, and Cadet Tuong, I'm sorry, and getting back to my battalion master chief, he also earned the Commander's Award, uh, Commander's Leadership Award. That's a personal award that we give here. Um, amazing young man, doing a great job. Uh, getting back to Cadet Tuong, uh, he has earned the Senior Chief's Leadership Award as well. Um, so let's give them both a round of applause. And I will continue with our Bravo Zulus for exceptional personal appearance. We have Cadet Abdullah F, Cadet Drain, Cadet Cruz Galvin, Cadet Brister, the Supply Chief, Cadet Parr, a Public Affairs Department, Cadet Muhammad, and Cadet Barry. Let's all give these wonderful young men and women. Commander Shaw will now present the honor for Tim Jones, United States Navy retired, seen him in the plans and checks the Stonehouse Navy JRTP program when I give you mark. All right, first off, oh, you don't need to see I'm sorry. Uh, first off, you guys are amazing. I know that every now and then I give a figurative for a superintendent. I give a figurative threat to stab you now or little transgressions you might make to this program, okay? It's triggered in there, like that. Actually, I'm not. But uh, today, you guys, um, y'all always say I never smile. Uh, today, you guys are making me smile, okay? Um, for our dis distinguished guests, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. Um, 
I don't think you have any idea what your presence, <clears throat> what your presence means to these young people. Um, and to you guys, I need y'all to understand. When we say that um, the pride of the rock, very few times without exception, people are thinking about you guys. And that's not to say that we don't have some amazing organizations, that we don't have some amazing students. And oh, by the way, a cadet got a salutatorium, uh, Mr. Cornelius, okay? But you guys really make us proud. Um, you guys put a lot of work and energy into getting ready for today. You guys put a lot of work and energy into operating as a unit uh, throughout the year and every year. And I cannot be more proud of you. So with that, I'm going to end my remarks. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you once again for everyone that showed up today. That means a lot. Uh, thank you so much. Mr. Costa, from Full Summer High School, will now give you the mark. Wow, first of all, I just want to say again, thank you for parents and the senior dignitaries and guests who came out today. Most important, thank you to the NJROTC cadets. I am, uh, I'm full today. Um, this is my second um, honor to be here as your principal for the second, uh, my second NJROTC annual inspection. Um, when I first received this job last year um, in the summer, the first group of students that I met and saw were NJROTC students. And I knew immediately then uh, that our school was in good hands. Uh, I, I was so excited to meet you all and what you guys brought to our school. That was just when I met those students over the summer. Um, our theme has been reviving the rock the last two years. And um, you see me in the halls a lot. I'm not an overly emotional person. I'm very emotional today because did this last year and this year even more so. You guys are amazing. As Lieutenant Commander Jones mentioned, you are the heart of this school. You really are the heart of this school. We are so proud of you, the way you carry yourselves, and excellence is your standard. Always keep that, remember that. Uh, we won't be using that theme, Reviving the Rock, next year. You guys have done that. We have come out of the pandemic. You guys have put our school, we have helped put our school in a position to be successful. Now we, we sell and sold, so we'll be doing that next year. But we are, I'm, I'm so proud of you when I look at you, I see so many different ethnicities, so many different faiths, but you all represent the best of Stone Mountain High School, you represent the best of the Cab County, and you represent the best of this nation. So I go home at night, I go home full tonight, uh, knowing that we're in good hands with you. So again, thank you for all you do. Thank you for your hard work. It takes a lot to get to this point today. So again, thank you, I'm proud of you. Go Pirates. Good morning, and first I'd like to say thank you to Stone Mountain High School for inviting me here. This has been such an honor just to see such excellence, just to see such discipline uh, in all of you. You have made me so proud, and more importantly, just to hear the name of Stone Mountain is, is just a plum pleasing experience for me. To see all the hard work that you have done this year and throughout the years, uh, I pray and hope that you all will continue on with your careers uh, in the armed forces. I just pray that you guys will go on and do excellence in everything that you do. Because today, there is no doubt that there is nothing that you can't do. 
There's nothing that you all cannot become. You have shown that with all that you have displayed. I thank you. I pray over you. God bless all of you today for all that you have done. And I also want to give credence to the um, to the chiefs. I want to give credence to the, the principal here as well as the teachers. Because without them, you wouldn't have had a role model. And it shows that Stone Mountain is in high standards, but more importantly, Stone Mountain is a school of excellence. Thank you for inviting me, and I hope to see some of you all again. Thank you. Um, we, we did invite and um, we got a response back from Senator Ossoff, um, who's going to award us here uh, to represent Senator Ossoff. Um, and again, I want you all to understand what a big deal that is. Um, both senators, we found out a couple weeks ago, are, were already scheduled to be up in D.C. doing uh, Georgia's work and the nation's work. Uh, Congressman Johnson, 4th uh, District, our, our congressman, uh, who's a good friend to this school, good friend to the district, a good friend to Stone Mountain City. Um, he had planned to be here. I got a call uh, just before we started that um, he got called away on uh, committee business up in D.C. Um, but uh, also several weeks ago, uh, Senator Warnock, um, a, a junior senator from uh, Georgia, and people always say, well, why is he the junior senator? Because they both got elected at the same time. They go alphabetically. Okay? Supply department, you know what alphabetical means, right? Everything's in alphabetical. Admin, everything's out of So, uh, but he did the uh, gracious thing, and he is uh, going to uh, talk to you guys via video. Uh, and I think the best way to do it, uh, if everybody here, uh, if you just wanted to step over this way, and that way I can play it for the cadets, and everybody can see it. And without further ado, um, our uh, presentation from Senator Warner. If you want to turn around again. School Navy Junior ROTC Cadets. I'm Raphael Warnock. I'm a former uh, Navy JROTC Cadet and I'm proud to serve as your United States Senator. I want to congratulate you on a successful year and for earning the Unit Achievement designation for the 2021-2022 school year. And I'm wishing you good luck for today's annual inspection. You are the heart and the soul of the Stone Mountain community, participating in a variety of academic leadership and student-athlete roles that uplift the great Stone Mountain High School. The determination and the grit you are honing right now will be the wind at your sails as you continue your journey into the next phase of your life, propelling you and our entire state to lead our nation to new frontiers. I also want to salute the cadets who were recently nominated for the Naval Academy. You have made us so very proud. And your time in Annapolis will mold you to be an exemplary leader, ready to serve your country. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank the parents, the teachers, and other leaders who continue to forge these cadets into the future leaders our state and our nation need. Thanks so very much. Keep the faith and keep
Ladies and gentlemen, the product. And I did want to uh, announce that the uh, nominee to the Naval Academy is our awesome battalion commander, Cadet Adam Zayala.
Please now complete the ceremonial phase with Monty Pirate and JROTC Area Managers Inspection. Parents, family, and friends are invited to observe the cadet staff brief at 11.15 in the auditorium. For those of you unable to attend the cadet staff brief, thank you for attending the ceremonial phase of our inspection, and we wish you safe travels to your next destination. To all our guests, on behalf of our cadet, bat cadet battalion commander, Cadet Commander Angelina Adazayala, the battalion master chief officer, Cadet Chief Petty Officer Tishon Walkland. Thank you for your support of Summit High School and the Cadets of Mighty Pirate Navy, JROTC.